Let's pray. Sovereign Lord, we ask that you would be with us today and that you would help us to learn um, about the process in which the Westminster Confession of Faith and the Westminster Standards in their entirety, the larger and shorter catechisms, the Directory of Public Worship, all of those documents were produced. While we know they're not scripture, they are not uh, infallible, Lord. They are a good summary, nonetheless, of the doctrine we believe is taught within scripture. And they are useful helps and guides as we study your word. I pray, Lord, therefore, that you would help us to be grateful uh, for the men who produced them and to understand the kind of sacrifices that they were willing to make and the zeal that they had for your kingdom and for your word upon which they based all of their, their life, their faith, their doctrine. Uh, I do pray we would be men who were like the Westminster Divines and that we have such a high and exalted esteem for your word that we would want to make it the basis for everything that we do and everything that we say. And we pray now, Lord, that you would be with us and be our teacher. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Well, uh, first up, we have two individuals, uh, both of them scoundrels in their own right. Uh, on the left, uh, who do you think that is on the left there? Charles the First, that's right, the son of James uh, the First and uh, Sixth. He was James the First, obviously, of England and uh, James the Sixth of Scotland. Uh, his son was also, uh, like his father, a man of very high uh, church views. He was an Anglo-Catholic and he leaned heavily towards Arminianism uh, in terms of his theology. He also was very antinomian in his own personal practices. What do we mean by antinomian? What's antinomian mean? Antinomian? What, what did you say? Okay. 